guys, Gemma here and back again for another video. Today I want to talk about something that has been plaguing me for maybe the last week and I've been really, really feeling more and more angst and disappointment to this one game. Now within the last 12 months we've seen many AAA and indie games come out and this game probably had, for me, the most hype. The most hype. Uh, fans were so, so pumped, fans were so ready for this, fans wanted this, fans had been begging for this, and at E3 2015 it was finally announced. Here's a clip from a midnight opening I went to. We don't need to count down because you guys probably guessed from seeing that clip right there that it is Fallout 4 from the mighty Bethesda Game Studios, a game studio that I've grown to love and I've just loved them ever since Fallout 3. And I've often wondered, do I prefer the Elder Scrolls series or do I prefer the Fallout series? And I've often flip-flopped between the two, saying, nope, 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 Elder Scrolls for me, and then I migrate back to Fallout. Now, Fallout 4 for me has been the biggest disappointment over the last 12 months. Um, so not exclusive to 2016, I'm talking over the last 12, potentially 18 months really, worth of releases. Um, and I want to talk about why. Now, Fallout 4, proves to me that hype doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a good game. It is a huge game, it is a good game, but it is by no means worth the hype that was placed behind it. Um, it, it just seems at times like you're kind of roaming this wasteland, okay? It is huge, it is boring, it is absolutely boring. You, I mean, if you're going to make a massive, huge, monumental map, a huge game, make it interesting. Make it more interesting than what Fallout 4 seems to offer on the plains of the wasteland. Another thing that I really felt disappointed with, and I found this a great point at first, I found it a challenge, but you can kind of wonder, you know, oh great, this is building, you can across this huge building, you think, there's going to be some sick loops, so you're kind of marching in the building, it's a big chest. You know, maybe it's got a medium lockpick, so you might have something reasonably decent. You crack open the chest, and there's a wrench in there, and you're like, really? Really? You may have multiple other wrenches, you don't need a wrench, you do, oh, come on, come on. Flipping that round on its head, you might open that, your medium lockpick, open it, and it's just full of loot, full of, like, awesome armour, uh, power armor, you know, loads of really decent guns. You're picking it up and you're instantly over encumbered. Now, I liked that at first because it made me kind of travel back to um, my kind of safe haven, my, 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 my safe area, and you dump a load of stuff and then go back to this place, pick it up, you know, really kind of reorganize my inventory. But that got boring. That got really, really boring really, really quickly. Now, I just, uh, there's so many little annoyances. As for the DLC, I haven't even given it any time. I haven't given it any time, so I'm only speaking for the main game. I was so disappointed and deflated for the main game that I haven't bothered with the likes of Far Harbor. Um, and, I, you know, Nuka World is coming up. Nuka World is coming up. Maybe that will be something to go back to Fallout 4 for. Who knows? Um, now, I know a lot of you out there um, feel the same way. And a lot of you out there wanted Elder Scrolls 6 to be announced at the last E3, and it wasn't, and I don't know if we're ever going to see it. Now, I'm looking forward to Skyrim HD Remake on the PS4, comes out in October, going to be streaming it, going to be getting back into it. Love Skyrim, love it. Right now, I much prefer the Elder Scrolls series over the Fallout series. For me, nothing will beat Fallout 3. A lot of people cried and whined over the graphics, that doesn't bother me, I wanted more story, I don't think we got a story, well, we did but it wasn't in as much depth, it was almost that kind of shallow puddle, you know, you meet so many different characters it's hard to focus on the main story, you know, to, to, to find out what happened to your son, to find your son, you know, it, it, there's, so, there's too many side quests that seem redundant for me and there's way too much time spent in the menu. Now Todd Howard did say you do spend a lot of time in the menus, that's why we developed the Pit Boy, this beautiful thing right here. But it's, for me it's too much, it's too much man. Way, 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 way too much. That was one of the things I hated about Fallout 3 and again it adds to that monotony and for me monotony is cancer, I absolutely hate it. I wanted more time in the wasteland, I wanted more stimulation on the wasteland, I wanted more fluidity and flexibility within 
you know, the the kind of the menu systems to kind of leap in and out with more fluidity, but no, it's very, very stale, very stagnant. And unfortunately for me, biggest let down in the last 12 months. So there we go, guys. That's all I have to say. Smash your comments below, smash your thoughts below. And if you don't agree with me, that's fine. Just tell me the game that's disappointed you guys over the last 12 months. I know a lot of you are disappointed with No Man's Sky. Check out my Is It Shit episode right here if you guys want to see my thoughts on that. You're still asking me, which is great. Thank you for the support, guys. Have a lovely day. It is Thursday. I'll be back very soon. I think I'm going to be streaming some Streets of Rage 2 tonight if you want to join in as well. So make sure you subscribe. My name's Gemma. Take care. See you soon.